What's going on guys? Welcome back to another normal Vintage Cube Draft here on the Magic the Gathering Simulation. I'll be your host, the simulator creator. I don't know what that means. But here we are. You know, here we are. It's 2019. We're having a good time. We're opening power like Elspeth Nidorant. Just kidding. And we're making sure that people don't think there's a stip going on, because there's no stip. What do you think about Hearthstone? I love Hearthstone. I think Hearthstone is a great game. Is it just Batter Skull? Oh, it's got to be worn Power Stone, right? Crab people, crab people. I don't know what that means, but it's funny. It's a funny thing. It's a funny thing to just say, Dang it, Tonos, I just updated it. Duh! <laughs> Oh, man. I guess you can't see when I add commands, right? That's weird, because I could see yours, right? Unless we were just probably... We, we were just ships crossing in the night, I think. We'll take the worn power. So nah, no big deal. It literally... All I had to do was hit up, because if I hit up, it actually enters the very last... Uh, so I can just keep doing this. I can just hit up, 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 up. And uh, it enters the last thing that I that I posted. So literally no harm done. Mm. In fact, I actually like that you did it, because I appreciate that kind of vigilance. I just like, so when people say stip, I, I want to make sure that when they use the stip command that something comes up so that they don't think it just didn't work. They're like, oh man, no, nothing came up. Oh man, nothing came up. Is that a good karma voice? I don't think so. It left me wanting. It, it left me, it left me thinking, wanting more? That's not, that doesn't sound right. I mean, it left me, it left something to be desired. That's what we'll say. Oh my god, look at this. I didn't know this picture was even taken. Wow, look at this. That's amazing. Solid 710 out of bitch. Wow, that's an old meme right there. I was definitely not drunk. I was sober. I, uh, I'm not a drinker. Uh, what do we take here? I don't want to, I don't want to take Thousand Year Storm, but, oh, do I? Guys, are we going to Thousand Year Storm? Let's Thousand Year Storm. You know what? We're having a good time. I'm going to take Underground Sea. Although I really like Charter Course for the Reanimate deck, but that's not what we're doing. We're going to take Underground Sea because this is probably a premier fixing land in our colors. <sighs> Empty the Warrens? Are we emptying the Warrens? Hmm. <laughs> it's true. It's a good point. That's a good point. We're just gonna take. We're just gonna take empty the Warrens. All right, all right, guys. I'm not comfortable with what's going on here, but we'll see. Oh, Bloodstained Mire is nice. Lightning Bolt is nice. That's just a free storm spell, right? Is Brainstorm better? Hmm. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, all right. One 1,000 year storm buck. I'm going to take the lightning bolt. I think lightning bolt's probably better. I'm Maybe that's wrong. If lightning bolt's wrong, I don't want to be right. Brainstorm does have storm in the name, though. That's a valid point. I can't really argue with that. I like a plateau. Sometimes I, I, I gloss over the storm cards, though, so you guys might need to help me out here. Sometimes I'm like, well, I don't know if this is any good at storm. Oh. Dingus Egg, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back. Ten months in a row. If our friendship was measured in mana, we could cast an Ulamog. <laughs> Happy drafting. Gas. That's amazing. I yeah I, I think that is one it's, it's definitely cheaper than one thousand one year storm bucks so the uh, the placement of the storm was definitely valid valid um, kite sail freebooter oh man we're getting cut or there's just no good stormy boys in this pack I feel like it's Urborg. could be kite sail freebooter actually let's let's take that guy. I 
like lightning helix, but just because we have this does not mean we're playing white by any means. It just means that if we get like a uh, flooded strand, that it's able to get all of our colors. Why do I keep seeing these? I'll take the brawl. We keep seeing white lands. Well, there was a white blue and a white black land there. Well, biscuits. Cast down. It's probably Dreadbore, right? Can I get a signet back? That'd be great. That night was probably the best night I've ever had in Vegas. Yeah, that night was amazing, dude. I thought I was just going to go back to my room and go to sleep. You guys just happened to to catch me while I was literally heading back to my room. And you're like, well, why don't you hang out for a little bit? And I was like, all right. Oh, I almost took a... See, I almost took Dark Slick Shores or a Pyretic Ritual. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You guys need to keep me... Uh, What if we have like a sub-welder package? Yeah, I'll take Deluge. Smokestack. Bone Shredder. I did the same to everyone's... <laughs> Fantastic. Speaking of which, you're not the only one. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will storm with us. And we're gonna take Yogmas will. Boom, 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 boom. And hopefully this treachery comes back. It'll never come back. <laughs> Show up, get cash for craps. Cash for craps is actually the business I'm starting. <clears throat> it's a totally different. It's a totally different thing though. Brain freeze. That's a good card. Electromancer. Brain freeze is probably more likely to come back than electromancer, right? Unfortunately, it's not Sphinx if we're storming, which feels really bad. But we haven't stormed yet this cube. So, I actually don't think Brain Freeze is better than Storm, or better than Amphibia Warrens. And the reason is because there are a million Eldrazi in the format. Like, there are a lot of decks that just play Eldrazi. Um, or even, like, Blightsteel Colossus, Progenitus, or um, Nexus of Fate. Like, all those cards just shuffle back in so they can never actually lose. There's actually quite a few cards in the cube that prevent... Um, Anyway, probably just taking the Brain Freeze and hoping the Electromancer comes back, because both are pretty niche. Perfect. Perfect! I'm going to put it right in here. Right in there. Wandering Fumeral, you're a dude. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond, you're a dude. And we have the Yawgmoth's Will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four cards are coming back. Will one of them be Yawgmoth's Will? I don't know. Do we want to take the Wandering Fumeral and Hedge? I don't know. These are the questions we ask ourselves, guys. It's definitely LED as far as the deck. Yeah, fine. We'll just take the stupid Lion's Eye Diamond. Probe, <clears throat> probe is is pretty good. What card, if any, have you missed that was one in the previous queue and not this? I actually don't know. I also like Baleful Strix. LED has come back quite frequently for me. I don't say stuff like that randomly. I don't just make stuff up like that. I'm saying it based on my experience. LED comes back a lot. Uh, it's either Probe or Baleful Strix. I think it's Probe. Baleful Strix is great, but it doesn't really affect our plan. I kind of like Heartbeat of Spring, but it's not great without, like, without, like, a Time Spiral, like a Frantic Search. It's not, it's actually not great. You never want to give them, uh, you never want to give them the mana first. I think it's actually just Chain Lightning here. I also don't want to step into green if we don't have to. We have really no way to, to play any green cards. I actually don't hate Dark Dwellers. <laughs> 
Eh, it's not great though. It's probably just chain lightning, right? Or mesmeric fiend. I don't know. I like chain lightning. It costs one mana, <clears throat> and it deals him three, which is nice because it lets you have to. It basically takes off two two necessary tendrils triggers. So like you can hit them with tendrils, and you have to do it. Two fewer times. Argyle's Bloodfast is just fine. Also, yeah, again, we have Thousand Year Storm, so... Lotus Petal. Let's do that. All right. Is Duretti good for us? I don't think so. It's useful, though. It's actually just fine. Makes guys, makes blockers, kills things. And it's probably better than Hero's Downfall for us. Or Shrine. So I'm going to take the Duretti. Actually, Trigger Mage could have been pretty sweet. Just get Lion's Eye Diamond. I wonder if it's coming back, though. The Electromancer came back, which is pretty gas. Terminate? All right. I'll take a Terminate. I don't think it's any of these other ridiculous cards. A Braid? Is Experimental Frenzy good in Storm? That's interesting. Hmm. I kind of like a braid because it deals with artifacts. I don't. I don't want to want to go all crazy experimental frenzy here. Wow, dark dwellers and these are like the other two cards we were considering. I'll just take dark dwellers here. I'm gonna put you over here. Like you do. Like you do. Now we have Lotus Petal, Black Lotus, and Lion's Eye Diamond. How late are you planning to be on? After this, after this draft, I'm done. I'm going to go get some food. So until this is over. Huh. It's pretty good for the storm deck. How can you pass Mogs? <laughs> well, we got a Lotus. You, you got. We have a Lotus. You see. <clears throat> I'm gonna take Time Twister. Come on, High Tide. Ashiok. Ashiok. Oh, Turnabout seems good, right? Is Turnabout good? If we don't have High Tide, Turnabout's rough, but it could be very good. I mean, it still basically pays for itself, right? Arid Mesa doesn't get anything yet. It gets us a red source, but that's pretty much it. Could take just Lava Claw Reaches. I did it again. I forgot I was watching live and not YouTube. Welcome. <laughs> Maintain priority. Take both. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I do like Dark Petition here as well. Fast spawn's really good, but like I'm not really into risk. I'm not really into going into four colors here. I just there's really no reason to do it. Is there any storm card in this pack that I care about? Not really. That's probably just Signet here. Yeah, we can take a Signet. I don't think it's Is Bob good? Yeah, actually Bob's pretty good. Yeah, I like Bob a lot, actually. Gush? <clears throat> Goosh? Misty Rainforest gets us Underground Sea, which is nice. 
Sensei's top is fine, but not super exciting. Probably gonna sideboard the Dreadbore for now. Is top better than Gush, though? Like, Gush is usually what you want to be doing. Draw two, bounce two lands, replay a land. Yeah, I really don't care about top, to be honest with you. This is my first, this is our first Storm deck in this vintage cube. And they've definitely made a lot of changes. We didn't get Cabal Ritual. We didn't get Desperate Ritual. We didn't get Dark Ritual. We didn't get um, High Tide, which is really unfortunate. Uh, it's probably just Black Cleave Cliffs. Yeah, we don't have any way to, to to pull lands out of our decks. We'll just take the Cliffs. I think this is still fine. Like We can chain together a bunch of spells, but Goblin Welder probably not making the cut. Probably going to play Diamond and Petal. I don't think these are going to be played as lands. Oh, Cabal Ritual. Fantastic. Also a Daze, but I'm not super high on Daze. And Palancron's not great unless you have... Um, What do you call it? High Tide. I don't know if we're playing Dark Dwellers here. It's double red, and I really don't feel like having a double red card in our deck. So. Yeah, Mana Flare is pretty insane. Also, Memory Jar. Is it Flare or Memory Jar? Ooh, yikes. Definitely not cutting Empty the Warrens. That seems insane. Literally no reason. It's literally one of our win conditions. Why would we ever cut Empty the Warrens? Memory Jar is gas, but so is Mana Flare because it lets you go Mana Flare in a turnabout. It's basically a high tide. I guess we'll take Jar. Yeah, Lodestone well, Golem is... It is what it is, I guess. Whatever that means. Oh, Blood Crypt. I was really hoping the Blood Crypt came back. That's actually gas. I mean, I feel like if you make 16 guys with Empty the Warrens, I mean... I don't really feel like it's not good. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. Especially if we Thousand Year Storm it for a bunch more, so. Lava Claw. Oh, Dark Petition. That's gas. Without another Tutor effect, I'm just going to take the Dark Petition here. And none of these cards are great. I'll take Sweltering Suns. Necrotal, PNLR. I'll take PNLR. Actually, we'll take Necrotal. Brain Maggot, sure. Brain Maggot is just a better Kite Sail, or Kite Sail Freebooter, right? It can take any card instead of non-land cards. I don't know if we want Bob in the main deck. We'll play Brain Maggot over the Kite Self Freebooter. Everything else seems great. I think we can actually play 16 lands here. Or, well, three of these are going in. 
Yeah, so 16 lands, right? Sort by color. And we have all of our lands produce black, so we're definitely low on the black. We can go three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, five, six. So this is like six, 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 right? Four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, and five, six. Plus we have all of the other sources. So 15 lands plus a lotus petal and a lion's eye diamond and a black lotus. Is that enough? We also have worn power stone. Poetic ritual, cabal ritual. We have Baral and Goblin Electromancer as well. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's. I guess we can probably cut one of these for another land. I really don't want to... Ten, eight, six. So we probably just want to add another blue, especially because we have Mana Drain. All right, 16 lands. I feel a little better about that. <clears throat> and we kept Dark Confidant because, like, drawing any of these cards off of a Dark Confidant is just nuts, which is a lot of our deck. So is this 9 plus 2? So 16 plus 9 is 25. 30, 30 of our cards are totally fine hitting off Dark Confidant. What up, Backlight? Always a pleasure, Chris. <laughs> Tanos, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Always a pleasure. Doomsday, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Seven months in a row. My God. My God. What a time to be alive. Yeah, well, this is a hand, all right. Probably gonna ship it. Or do we keep this? Yeah, we'll keep this. We got time. If we draw a red, it's great because we get Electromancer. If we don't, we can just play Warm Power Stone on three. All right, I'm gonna open this to watch later so I don't get demonetized. Huh. Does that change anything? Runaway Mimikins. <laughs> it's actually it's actually very funny. That's actually a very funny thing to say. What if we get red here? We can go one, two, three, four, make eight goblins. Is that good enough? Plus we have Electromancer. So we make three red with this, right? We use one of the red and one of the blue, which leaves us a three mana to play Electromancer. And then it's one, two, three, four. The storm counts four. Is eight goblins on turn three, is on turn two, is that good? What can they have that stops that when they haven't done anything? Let's just see if it works. <clears throat> let's just play, let's just, let's just go crazy. Seems alright. If they go block here, they take eight. <laughs> Big choops. You got it. So we deal seven, six, five, four. And that should be lethal.
Oh, that's a that's a dangerous thing to do. Thousand year storm. We have no black mana. All right, so they take six here. They take seven with this. <clears throat> then they take five, six. So they're basically dead next turn. In tomb. Okay. Dragon Lord of Tarka. Well, hopefully you only have reanimate in your hand. That's my hope and dream. Why are you the way that you are? We still get to keep a goblin. Well, this is unfortunate. Having no black mana is pretty bad here. Although they, they're dead in six turns. Wow, Sea Chrome Coast. Seems good. Oh, they had Evan Barrel and Dragon Lord and Entomb. I guess we're not dead. Chain Whirler with wings. Yeah, that sounds about right. Might as well take 10. Huh. Does that do anything? No. <laughs> I forgot you go. I'm like, oh, we can just cast Yogg Muscle. Well, that seems great. We don't actually have a black. If we had a black source, that'd be pretty insane, right? All right. Oh my god, I got so I was like, oh, Yogmoth's Wall seems great. We can cast it. We can get back all our things. Maybe we win a game. No, that's not how that works, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't. I think the only problem we had there was not hitting a black. I think if we had a black on that last turn, I think it would have been fine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Lotus, Lotus Petal, Lotus Eye Diamond, etc. I feel like we've gone through this before. I try to, I try to, I try to ask for a little bit more than fifteen just for stips because uh, the reason is it costs ten to enter the stip, and it takes about two hours. So after fees and stuff, I end up netting like three bucks after paying for the stip and for after paying for the the event, which is the only reason why. Um, but would definitely be willing to do that Doomsday. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, look, three islands again. Hmm. Let's mulligan it this time. Yeah, this sand seems. Ah, this is actually great. Dark Confidant. Like, basically, the one thing I'm trying to do with the stipulation cost is circumvent the time it takes, which is usually about two hours, and uh, circumvent the... Because I can only do so many events. If they take two hours each, I can only do so many in a day. Um, and circumvent the, the actual cost of the event as well. I wish to do that. appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. I will keep this. Um, yeah, we can just put that on top. A mox here would be nice. Unfortunately, we only drafted the Lotus, so. I mean, if they have an answer for Dark Confidant, being able to go turn two Duretti, or turn three Duretti is pretty good and start drawing some cards off this guy. Could you cast the LED and then pay the cost of the No, that's not how it works. Discarding the cards is part of the cost of getting the mana. It's really weird. It used to work like that where you can be like, I'll announce casting this card. In response, I will play, I will crack my Lion's Eye Diamond.
This is why I don't think empty is good. If we brain freeze for eight, we'd be in actually worse position. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not like brain freeze. <laughs> Doomsday, that is, that'll, that'll definitely do. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, that was a, oh, now they know we have it, though, which is really sad. I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's going to be good. Alright, I'll add swords and titans to the set. I'm definitely going to stream at least once this weekend, so... If you guys want to catch me then, you're more than... Catch me on the weekend, how about that? Oh, dang it, I always do that. Alright, hold on. Doomsday... Right, but my point is, like, in a situation like that, empty is just better than brain freeze. So, like, why wouldn't you just play both? Plus, like, they're a reanimate deck. We lost to a Dragonlord Atarka in a reanimate deck, so the odds of them having something like a Progenitus or an Ulamog is probably decent. Maybe not a maybe not a Progenitus, but an Ulamog, you can still, like, Shallow Grave it or, uh, you know, Necromancy. Eh, I don't think Necromancy gives haste. Man, look how lucky we are. Lucky, 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 lucky. Um. Okay, so let's just attack for two here. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six mana? It was actually not a step. I was just like, hey, let's. we haven't done this. So let's do this. Coligon's command? Killing... Making me discard? Yeah, we're definitely going to mana drain that. Oh, when we get it this turn, too? Oh, that's gas. Oh, now we're definitely going to try to go off here. We can also sacrifice our Lion's Eye Diamond at some point to... Um, Nope, not doing that. Oh, maybe we do that, though. Four, five. No, we're definitely not doing that. We're just going to cast this. Cast this. So, <clears throat> make a guy. So three, four, five, and then we don't have enough to do anything else after that, which is unfortunate. We could actually pay one for this. Oh, he said, God, Dark Petition's so bad right now because we don't get the mana yet. So it's three, four, five, and then we'd have one left over. So we get to do one or the other, which is it's fine, I guess. Actually, hold on, do we? We need one more card in the graveyard. So it's five, so it's three, four, five, and then we have one, two. Can't erg. What can we do here? Is there anything better we can do? Like we can demonic, we can empty the incast position response. No, you can't. You can't do that. This doesn't actually leave your hand until you pay for it. Like so, if I click on this, this is not an option. You can only activate it anytime you can cast an instant. That's not. That's not how that card works. We can petition, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna have spell mana. We're not gonna get the mana for it. So it'd be five mana, and then we have two. I guess we can get lotus. We can petition for lotus, right? So black, black, petition. Yes, we get the Spellmaster if we LED, but if we LED, we don't actually get to cast this. Oh, you mean cast this with on the stack? Um, I actually don't know how that works. I don't want to risk that. But then we lose Empty the Warrens, right? So, like, what's the point of that? I'd rather just play Empty the Warrens here. I'd rather just go get, like, Lotus here and then play Empty the Warrens. Huh. 
<clears throat> I mean, even if they have, like, Dragon Lord of Target here, we're in their main phase, so they have to get something in the graveyard and kill us. Yep, that'll do. All right, sweet. Got him. I almost like something like Necrotal here just because it kills, like, Dragon Lord of Tarko. Probably take out the Blood Fast for Necrotal. I don't think either of those are going to contribute to the Storm component. Actually, maybe Bone Shredder is better. It's too late, though. I was like, watch Necrotal be in our opening hand. There he is. Oh, Terminate and Dreadboard do work better. Are they both on our sideboard? They are. Yeah, that was probably better. That was way better. I totally forgot about those. I'm not a storm I'm not a storm connoisseur by any means, so um keep that in mind. Oh my god, Lotus Massacre would have been insane if they did that. Oh, this hand seems bad. This hand seems great. I will definitely keep that. So turn to Electromancer, then we can go Lotus, Time Twister. We have Brain Maggot in the deck already. Real mature. Yeah, you can see how if this was a Terminator of Dread War, it would have been significantly better. Time Twister! Really? I probably would have taken the Electromancer here. Let's actually play, pay the correct mana here. Ah, uh, red and blue. Okay, red and blue. Do I just drop Lotus here? I don't think so. We want to play it on the Brain Freeze turn, I believe. <clears throat> I will block. Man, now we got Volcanic Islands up in here too? Jeez. What a revolting development. So we can actually Lotus, get rid of this guy, get our Time Twister back, and then Time Twister. Is that worth it? Lotus, Necrotal. Ah, Necrotal's not going to kill that guy. We're not smart. Well, seems like nothing's going on here. Oh, something's going on here. Chupacabra. Hangerback Walker, sure. This Necrotal was a mistake. That was not a mistake. I enjoy helping out the stream, but chat hates my stipulations, so I was thinking, can we do a poll and let chat decide? You take the top three favorite stipulations and let chat pick which of the three. Oh, that's actually interesting. Yeah, if you guys want to suggest stipulations in the chat, that's awesome. Travis, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. 
That's a good idea. I also, I've also, I've loved your stream. I love your stuff. You did the uh, the Cali of the Vast tip, and that was actually pretty fun. And people were like, oh, but it's all dirtily mid rage. And I'm like, yeah, but it's still, we went 2 1. So sometimes you still have to kill a Baneslayer Angel, no matter what the format is. Oh, interesting. Are we going to damnation in here? Languishing. Sure. That's fine. Californication. Chat chooses every pick. I really don't want to give them I really don't want to give them more cards in hand. I think we have so much time here. I'm just gonna pass. With a must-have crater hoof? You can't really must-have a stipulation. Like, it's got to be something that's reasonable. Oh, wow, your hand is terrible. Yikes. All right, well, ideally we just draw a thousand year storm, right? And then we can slowly go off after that. All sorcerers and instants need to be picked, and enablers plus. Yeah, it seems. But then you're gonna like force your forces to pick like things like cabal ritual. Like you wanna you wanna imagine the situation when you use the stipulation. You wanna imagine the situations that could crop up in a vintage cube draft, and then figure out which ones are gonna make it actually miserable to play. So we have seven mana. We go to eight mana. Use five of it, we get to keep three of it. It's not great. We didn't play land though. We could get the Lotus, yes. I guess we could have just played Necrotal last turn just for this. Oh, we actually played, no, we played uh, Brain Maggot last turn. That's fine. I have two cards in hand though. We know one of them is an Urborg. Oh god. I think we just have time. I don't think we have to. But then I shouldn't have played this Lotus. Whatever. I'm just going to play this guy now. Because it's going to get shuffled in anyway, so it's whatever. <sighs> That's so sad. Well, time twister is gone again. Why didn't they play the Tide Hall Skull? I guess because they languished. <clears throat> I 
Might as well get in there. We'll trade if you want to. Joke's on you, man. If you want to trade, I'm casting that time twister. No, you didn't think didn't think so. Yep, gonna keep taking it. That's fascinating. If we hit one more land, we can play Thousand Year Storm with Cabal Ritual. Hold on, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can almost turn about twice. It's definitely not game. <laughs> it's definitely not game. Oh, man. It's real close. We can't go off now. God, it's exhausting having to tell you guys things don't work. I mean, if we hit one more land or, like, one more, like, Lotus Petal or something, then I think we can do it because we can turn about twice. Okay, you guys explain to me how it would work. Oh, you wanted to just play it and then just go ham next turn? No, because we have to crack the Lotus to do that. And I'd rather just have all the mana on one turn. Huh. What's giving us two Cabal Rituals? We have to play something before Cabal Ritual in order to get a second Cabal Ritual. There you go. You guys are figuring it out. Um, let's do this, Jobby. One, two, three, is this right? How does this work though? How do we get the blue we need? Like we're not going to have blue to do this. Like this is really bad. Like this is, this is actually, this is actually bunk right now. Six. Get the blue. Yogg will for all the black. I mean, I really want to turn about in the graveyard, but I don't. I don't think that's even possible. So play this again. So now we have six mana, right? So we get red. So we have nine mana, 10 mana with this guy. All right, so we're gonna add a black here. No, nope, black here, black here. We want a thousand year storm first though, but then we don't have two blue, right? So one, two, three, four, five. We thousand year storm, and then we either have, we have three mana. We have to use one of it to turn about. Is this right? Guys, I think we're adding more blue here. And then we're adding a red. And then we're gonna play thousand year storm, keep a blue up. One, two, and then we use one black to Cabal Ritual. It doesn't work. <clears throat> 
Tap out and play turnabout. What problem is? Okay, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. This is ten mana total. I want to hit the Cabal Ritual off of this. Actually, maybe it's... Is it Electromancer first? Does that change things? Because we're getting the discount here anyway, right? So if we go add this for an Electromancer, turnabout only costs three at that point. One, two. Let's get some red. Yeah, this we messed up, I think. Yeah, we messed up. That was that was bad. That was that was not where we wanted to be. So we'll add black. Cabal ritual here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God, we're one, oh no, no, we're not one shy. Actually, this is actually this is okay. We we think we did it. Do you want red there? No, we want blue. All right, so we're gonna add blue, then add a red. Thousand year storm. One, two, three, four. Turn about. Target ourselves. Okay. Um, <laughs> same target, same target, same target. Okay, uh, let's choose lands, untap them. We only have brain freeze in hand, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, all right, well, I guess we just win. <laughs> That'll do. Brain freeze for seven is 21 cards. They have 23 cards. We could have played Dark Confidant first and then killed them, yeah. All right, so... Uh, not easy, not elegant, but we did it. And now I'm going to go blow my brains out. We did it. Uh, is this hand keepable? I don't know. This is too many basic lands to have in Storm, I'll be honest with you guys. God. Ooh. I don't think this hand's keepable. This is probably better. We have Duretti mana. You know what? Sure. That was a good hit. Don't have a mana tithe, bro. Don't mana tithe my Doretti. Oh, what's music for airports? That sounds amazing. That sounds like the name of an album I would listen to. Nice. Oh, it's a Brian Eno album. Nice. Man, that's a quality reference right there. Oh, Lingering Souls, eh? All right. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Stips that have to have Mike here, only because he's only here two days a week, and then sometimes he's not, you know? So it's hard. Oh, Doretti.
Stip, Mike quits his job. <laughs> Demetri, I'm definitely going to check it out later tonight. I'll load that bad boy up on Spotify. Probably while I read some comics. Oh, a second, a second island was nice there. I don't think we could do anything here. We could probe, but there's no real point. We have a lot of pressure on us, though. Four spirits, a colonnade that comes down eventually, a shambling vent. What comics I'm reading? Whatever's in my queue. I have like 700 Marvel comics that I'm backed up on, so. Choose target artifact card in a graveyard or artifact on the battlefield. Create three tokens that are copies of it. So I can just be like, hey, Worm Coil Engine, I'm going to make three copies of you. Hmm. Cracking that land. Have I read Darth Vader? The new one? The new one that's out currently? That's on like issue 25? I have not read it, but it, it is in my queue. Um, also, if you guys are interested in updating your wardrobe a little bit, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns by using that affiliate link. You can find it in the description below or on my Twitch profile. They have really, really super soft micromodal uh, underwear, sleep pants, lounge pants, tees, socks, onesies, you name it. Wow, they took my lion side diamond. Oh god. Oh boy. I feel like being able to play this next turn would be great. Do we play a land? Maybe we just get taxi and probe here just to see if we can hit a land. Mirror and Crusader Path Treachery Cast Down. Wow, their hand is terrible. Oh, biscuits. Do we just gush here? Draw like a million? I guess we just gush next turn, right? We got one in the queue, though. Like, we're not going to be able to play anything, so I'm just going to actually... We'll just gush next turn. Yeah, the odds of us hitting Black Lotus Lotus Petal is pretty low. So, on the other hand, it's Treachery, Mirror, and Crusader. Path, Cast Down, and Treachery are all dead cards against us. So, they have Mirror and Crusader. Cool. Oh, come the fuck on. Are you serious? That's infuriating. You literally have an absolutely blank hand. Sure. I also like that you actually attacked after you vindicated. Oh, God. Nope. Not doing anything with that. All right. 
It was just so ridiculous. Like, we actually had the perfect turn next turn. We can go turn about, untap our lands, gush for four cards. And it's just like... You're, like, I was excited because you had a literal blank hand, so we actually had a good amount of time. Like, we can even turn about and tap your team down if we if we need to. Time Twister in the graveyard. I have to assume one of the two cards you've hit is Yogmoss Will. Nice. How nice. So you still know four of the blank cards in your hand, so that's cool. Sure. Creatures are basically irrelevant at this point. So, we know your hand is cast down Treachery Path. We're just going to mana drain this because we don't get to survive next turn. Like, we basically have to hit, like, Yogg Will here. Empty the Warrens does not do it. It does keep us alive. <laughs> Go. No, it doesn't. We They have Floaty Boys. Well, I guess we could tap down their team. But to what end? Like, we do get to draw one card. Yeah, that seems bad. Let's see what the one card would have been. Warren Power Stone. Actually, they would have hit these three, and we would have drawn Cabal Ritual. Sure. I would love to know what they had. Yeah, that's something all right. Deluge seems great here. <laughs> Bloodfast is something kind of iffy on. Oh god, that was so infuriating. I'm sorry guys. Sorry for the sorry for the curse word. Sorry for the sweary. language <laughs> oh that's a solid meme I'm gonna keep this hand. I think it's all right. That'll never take off. It's just a fad. I see what you did there. It's your boy, Goblin Electromancer 2.0. Seems good. Also, it can't be cast downed, which is kind of nice. Oh, a little mox, huh? Yep. That's good. That's a good one. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got! Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine does nothing with that creature. Let's just get rid of the Blade Splicer, I guess. Are we actually going to hurt this Ashiok? Probably not. You get rewards for key? What does that mean? I mean, you get play points if you win matches. Just like every other event.
sure. Yep, none of those cards matter. Take them all. <gasps> Is this good? This feels good. What was our hand? Like literal nothing? Now is the time, now is the best time of your life. Let's get rid of Jace. I don't want you to draw more cards if you don't need to. Ah, I've been using Arena. Yeah, so if you a draft costs 100 play points. Uh, and if you win, if you go 1-2, you get 40 play points. If you go 2-1, you get 100 play points. And if you 3-0, you get 150 play points, I believe. So basically, if you go 2-1 or... Uh, or 3-0, you basically get your monies back. scootin do doo do doo do do yeah, I have no cards in hand. Way to draw two perfect little dirtles after seeing your hand of nothing. Watery Grave down. Sword of Feast and Famine is strong. Bellerin. So we know you have... That's one of the cards. You've drawn both of these, these little nerds. Sure. So if we attack with everything, you're just going to go block here, block here. Ashiok does not die. You are still on a two-turn clock. Well, might as well play the land, I guess. Attack all at Ashiok except for the valuable guys. Sure. <clears throat> Yogwell off the top would be absolute gasoline, but it's also right here. It's been exiled, so. No bueno. One second, guys. Alright, one time. Something good. Warren Power Stone. Not good. Not good. Thief of Sanity, also pretty pretty beastly. So we can attack with five of these dudes. Two, three, four. Or six, rather. There we go. Yeah, that Vindicate was pretty timely last round, so. Or last game, rather. What can you do? A 
So we're down three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If they attack with colonnade, it requires them drawing a land. There's really no uh, no point in keeping the power stone when they have sort of feast and famine on a dude. This is an interesting choice here to attack with the tide hollow sculler. I'll trade a goblin for a tide hollow sculler. This is my 13 cards that have been exiled this game. Yikes. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're not dead. But they can activate Shambling Event, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, God. They block here. They take five. Yep, we just have no, like... Never do that. Like the fact that Time Twister is exiled and Yogmoth's Will are exiled. Uh, nope. No point in drawing a card there. It just gets milled away. It means it's pretty unlikely that we're actually going to be able to win the game here. Yep, that should seal the deal. Cool. All right. Well, we're 1-1. One, one. I'm okay with it. No, you'll win. I said got him. I don't know if it works like that. Alrighty then. Oh, mana drain the shambling event would have been uh, pretty OP. I'm going to keep this hand. This is not a great hand, but we get a turn one mana drain, and if we hit... Oh, God. This is... It really is. It's really not an easy archetype to, to play. Um... I'm just gonna pass. I don't. There's nothing I want to really manage around turn one. I I presume. I have a feeling that we can just not turn one manager in here. I know, I know, a bold claim. But we have empty the Warren, so I'd kind of like to keep my storm count. If we draw a lotus, we could just go lotus petal, black lotus, lion's eye diamond, empty the Warrens. I mean, empty on for eight on turn two is still pretty good. It still commands an answer. Or demands an answer. Well, I guess maybe maybe both. If I draw Black Lotus is a weird phrase. Yeah, we're just gonna play this. Mana Drain's probably too important here. Did you read my email about Dream Commander build? I don't know if I did. Oh, nothing. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Land. Oh, we're so good at this game. That was actually absolutely perfect. If they play a three drop, we can go Thousand Year Storm. Never, never not doing that. 
for sure. Okay, so I don't know if it's great. I don't know if Thousand Year Storm is even great here, but it does set us up to to do things. We have three, four, five, six mana. Go Lion's Eye Diamond, Brain Maggot. Nope, can't do that. We have literally only have two blue and this guy. I guess we should have held the Lotus Petal. We make four guys? That doesn't seem exciting at all. It's also a waste of two mana. Can't do ready. I guess we just storm here. We're only really wasting a Lotus Petal, so. Plus, if we hit like a Lotus or something. Busted! I'd be satisfied with the red mana, but. This is where they go Banishing Light. Oh, Linvala. Don't care. Okay, Mono Islands. Sounds good. Collective Brutality. So long, Empty the Warrens. I hardly knew you. The joke's on you. I got Yawgmoth's Will in my deck. Cool. Yep. Just gonna keep on passing. That's just brutal. I don't feel like we're actually in terrible shape, but we do need to draw some things here. <laughs> Lingering Souls number two. Well, biscuits. There's 16 lands in the deck, plus a Lotus. I said, well, Biscuits, the same time you... <laughs> yes, excellent. Everyone in this room would have kept and played it the same way, right? Yeah, I, mean, I imagine so. You know what? One down. Oh, another Vindicate deck. Also a Face Fetters deck. Oh, good. How nice. And we can't warn Power Stone because we took it, but whatever. I guess we're just done. I'm not going to... Like, they have Vindicate. We're done. If we drew a red or a black, we could play, like, Dark Confidant for a But then, like, they still have Face Fetters. Yeah, it's... Eh, just... We also have not played... I'm going to take, take the Bloodfast out every time. I'm bringing Dreadbore. Also, I keep wanting Deluge against these, what do you call it, these decks with like lingering, mono lingering souls. I think I have like two steps in the queue now. I 
we'll play first. Definitely keeping this hand. Do you want a third step? I mean, I'm always like, if you guys want to support the stream and donate for a stipulation, I will 100% do it. Also, the queue was up for another 15 days, I think, so there's definitely time. And I'll definitely be streaming this weekend as well. So if you guys ever want to donate for steps, go for it. I will never turn that down. Got him. One of them is a sword and titan step. Draft the artifact swords and titans whenever possible. Power can be drafted over the step. Uh, one is take all legendary creatures, exception for power. And relevant lands. And... Travis did one tonight. Unease Joker did one tonight where it's chat picks and then I picked the top three. So I'm going to just field that one over time so that we can figure out what works best. The only problem with you pick, I pick is that like I worry about the time restrictions, right? Like me picking and then you seeing the next pack and you being able to pick in the, in the allotted time. That's my only concern for that. Wonder what they got. Can I get a blue source here? One time. Blue source one time. That is not a blue source. Just play memory jar here. We could just cabal ritual memory jar. It's not terrible. I would definitely I love Orzov in this queue. I would definitely do Orzov. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Also, they only have six cards. It might just be... Maybe we just Ritual... We do lose our Mana Drain, but, like, we get a lot of things out of it. Yep, another Vindicate. Shoulder, Damnation, Banishing Land, and Burial Rights? Sure. What is it? Damnation. Oh, they have Damnation. That's sad. Oh, it's costless. Wow, I forgot about that. I'm not smart at all. That's great. So we can play this. We only have one blue, so we can't actually do both, unfortunately. Three, four, five. Just play you for these two. Oh, wow. That actually worked out quite well. <laughs> Lotus Petal. Dismiss all, because we don't know anything anymore. Do we play land for the turn? We did. Cast you. Let's... We can actually... Cabal Ritual for one, get three. We can Duretti four, five, six. Yeah, add a red. And then play Empty the Warrens for like a billion. And we just hope they don't hit Damnation or Toxic Deluge. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to empty the warrens right now. I got 
land damnation, sucker. We won. Pow, pow. Our deck is sweet here. I think we're fine. I think they didn't have land damnation. Yeah, that is the... Uh, that is my assessment as well. We can keep this hand. <clears throat> man i don't even consider i don't even consider time twister power nine that's like it's like fake power nine Can we just top deck Lotus so we can Thousand Your Storm? Oh, throwing shade at Time Twister. Time Twister know what it, it knows what it did. Wow. It's so aggressive. They put it on top. Can I mill them? We could just brain freeze them for like two just to get rid of whatever they put on top, which is actually pretty hilarious. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go this. We're going to go this. We're gonna go this, and then we're gonna brain freeze you. Pack rat, is that what you got? Fascinating. <laughs> Look what we did. Look what we did. We didn't even attack. I got so sad about this on Barrett Wright's Iona combination in the graveyard here that uh, it's not good. We might have messed up. Might have messed up real bad, guys. Oh, they get pack rat? That's a weird thing to get. I guess, well, I guess if they wanted to discard, like, I guess if they had, like, shoulder it in hand and they want to discard it. How much time do you think you have, though? You're on. All right. Here comes Aleshnorn. Aleshnorn one time to end our lives. Inkwell Leviathan and Leonin Relic Warder. Huh. Black Lotus off the off the confidant. Black Cleave Cliffs, not really the same. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. And no, Twister seems great now. That that's not that's not well I didn't say it wasn't great. I just said it wasn't really power nine. I mean, deluging for 11 to kill Inkwell is a reasonable line. Yeah, I would assume the name Black with Iona. Unless they don't have a fourth land. They might actually not have a fourth land. One, two, three, four. They might have actually hit Swamp. They might have actually searched for a Swamp. Sure. That's sad. 
Three, four, five. We can actually play Thousand Year Storm next turn, though, which is pretty nuts. They have no cards in hand? Oh, wow. Time Twister one time. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Unfriggin' believable, dude. Actually unbelievable. And we don't actually have an answer for that, so... Guess we're stuck. I mean, if we draw a Time Twister here, we can go Time Twister and then play Turnabout with Time Twister on the stack. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they hit a fourth land, though, and then they just play Iona, and we're kind of blown out. Yep, there it is. And good games. I guess they could also get Gristlebrand and draw, like, 14 cards. <laughs> Go to two and know we have zero answer for it, but... Shieldred. Sure. Yep, that sucks. Well, all the all the mana advent advantage we would have net netted from Baral is gone now, so we basically just can't win. Yep, that's <sighs> sure. Yep, we're done. All right. Unfortunately. One, two, not ideal, but uh, our deck is definitely missing some components, and our opponents uh, also it drew very, very well from the uh, top deck Vindicate to the top deck Banishing Light. So, and eh, what can you do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And uh, you can, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say there, but I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the support.